hello viewers uh, in my last video uh, we were discussing about the distributed ag uh, when we have to do migration from one data center to another data center and uh, we have a requirement of uh, creating always on availability group and replication in two different windows clusters so in that case we already saw that uh, we can have one availability group in a different with a different windows cluster and another availability group with a different windows cluster and in between we can create distributed availability group and it will work fine so on the back end we we have used that the path for the source cluster and destination cluster was same uh, and by path i mean the data file and uh, the uh, log files path so for example if we go to the properties and open the files we can see that this is the path so for example if we open this path you can see that these databases are residing in this path so normally uh, in my last video i i used the same path as source like this path exactly was configured on all the systems so the source availability group and the destination availability group all had same exact uh, file paths as well so today what we will be uh, discussing that what will happen if we have the source uh, availability group as a different path and the destination will be destination availability group will be having a different um, data file and log file paths so now sql01 and sql02 these two systems are part of the first availability group that is ag01 and the third and fourth node they have different path that will be the combination of availability group number two so in availability group number two now what i have done that i have created a separate folder for user databases and i have configured the instance to use this different path similarly on the fourth instance i have used a different path and it is configured in the sql server instance on the source system if we see the path of the databases this is the default path and there we have already configured the databases and one more important thing that as of now we have one data file for this uh, database for each database as of now we have one data file source is having a different path and destination is having different path and we will see that how this will work so again i'll quickly quickly go go through the creation of the availability groups their endpoints and the distributed availability group so to have this in detail uh, to to, if you haven't seen my other video you can have the detailed video which i have uh, linked in the description below so we'll be creating quickly all these steps and once we are done with the first part i'll show you that how we can replicate the databases between two different availability groups and having different file paths Now we can see that this is completed. We'll just make it synchronous. 
Yes. So now we can see that we have created the availability group for the first AG and also a distributed availability group for the first AG and it will constantly synchronize the databases between the first cluster and the second cluster. <clears throat> and this is the beauty of the distributed AG that in case if you have source file, source data and log files on a different path and the destination log and data files on different paths as long as you have one data and one log file so it will synchronize perfectly fine without any problem so the default synchronization will be done without any changes so for example if you add another database in an existing ag like for example db03 and the file path is different here and on this on the destination we have a different file path so let's see how seamless is this and it will it will again replicate this database without any problems so now we will add this database in availability group on the sql ag01 we will add it here so it has it it requires a full backup so let's take the full backup once this is done we will refresh it it's enabled next we will connect it the secondary replica we make sure it's automatic seeding next and finish so once we do that we can see that this database on primary replica is synchronized on its own secondary replica it's synchronized and the most important thing is on the third replica and on the fourth replica which is on completely different windows cluster those are also synchronized and we get that so there is like very few steps involved once we want to replicate databases from one cluster to another cluster which which are using a different windows cluster so next what we will see that let's create a database which has two different data files two file data files on different locations so for example db04 we will add it here so now what we will do that on the source system what i have done that i have created another data file i'm um, sorry i have created another directory and i'll be using this directory to host my secondary data file so for example 2 and see what will happen if we if we try to synchronize databases which have multiple data files but on different source location so let's see what will happen here so again we have to take the backup for this database to add it in availability group and let's add it automatic seeding and we'll finish okay so you have to pay close attention now so on the source availability group the first replica it is synchronized on the source availability group because we had the folder user db here so it was synchronized the db4 and let's see what happened on the third availability group yeah this did not synchronize why let's see if we have if we can go to the log files and see what happened here so now see very closely that see this part that user db2 db04 underscore 2 dot ndf so this was the path 
SQL Server was trying to look and unfortunately it was not able to do so. So this is a limitation that if you have to use distributed availability groups and you have different source and different destination. So as long as you have a single data file or a single data, a multiple data file on single different paths, so it will work fine. But if you have multiple data files on multiple source, different source folders, which are not exist, which do not exist on the destination, so databases will not synchronize. But for example, if we go to this uh, destination and for example if we try to provide this folder so we will see we'll try to see what will happen so let's see is not available right now see this one let's try to simply restart the SQL server Okay, let's see why it's taking time. It's trying to stop it now. Okay, this is started now. So yes, it found the space uh, for the, it found the folder and it started to synchronize with the secondary replica but still on the fourth one oh, this is also done because i have already created the folder so see if you if you if you provide um, the mount points or the disk drives and all the folders exactly the same which is normally not very easily done but still, like um, if you can, it's it's ideal to have source and destination, uh, both the directories and everything same. But for example, if you if you have if uh, you have different source and destination file paths, so then you might have to do a manual backup and restore. So in that case, the automatic seeding will not work, but uh, you will have to do a manual backup and restore. So this was a further explanation to my existing uh, video. So I hope this will help and uh, uh, it will explain the distributed AG more. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, so please mention in the comments below and I will try to answer those. Thank you so much.